You know what the f*** going on. Little Uzith Vertical, Love is Rage 2 project is dropping in just like two and a half minutes. Okay, it dropped like an hour ago. I'm listening to this one last because I really don't know what to expect. Call me FIFO. I've never listened to a Little Uzi project on camera. Never really messed with an entire Uzi project off camera. Still liked a couple of his tracks. Like his delivery, like his uh, flows at times don't think he raps about anything so we're gonna see what i take away from this project lil oozes vertical love is rage too do i need to say anything more or can we just like hop into it because i i just i feel like this strong sense of disappointment just like a cloud over my head and i'm about to get rained on but instead of rain it's just it's just sadness and and and, and nothing but broken hearts and dreams that are from children that were never fulfilled thought you could be president ha track number one we already starting off bad. Track number one is called Two. What you doing? What you doing? Sounds like a harmonica in the background. Tell me! We in track number one and I'm already bored. And I'm not kidding. I'm not even trying to hate on him. I'm bored. Track number two, four, 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 plus two. You think you slick? Why you don't need to do this? Get your soul back. Go fast. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Boy, J Z. Count off. Fun nigga. Pay me. Walla. Walking. I know you're not coming. At the. No. He wouldn't do that. Go fast, slow down, okay. breathe in, breathe in, shake it ass, speed up, go fast, that's a new watch, got like three dollars, I don't eat out, he'll walk that, speed up, go fast. All right, you know, you know what, like the track is just so bad from a substance standpoint. I know I'm not expecting substance from Lil Yachty, I mean Lil Uzi. With this track, it's it's got, it's got a little sense of catchiness to it. Why not build on that by adding a little versatility to the way you rap as far as the hook is concerned? Because it's it just... Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Like, thank you for teaching me a basic human function. And teaching me that everything has an opposite. Uh, I like how, you know, the bass was heavily abused on that track. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I, it depends on my mood. On this track, I really do enjoy it. And as far as the title of it is concerned, it's like, bruh, you're not fooling nobody. Think you're slick. And you're not. Track number three, sauce it up. Y'all, y'all use this line. It's not gonna catch on. Ride me like a Harley, bruh. It's corny. It's corny. God, no. You wet like Squirtle. Walk around pigeon toe. Got the bird flu. Uzi. This is not worth your soul. You gonna go down, at least go down for some for some good bars. Come on, man. You better than that. I already know people leaving dislikes because they don't like the fact that, you know, critiquing their favorite artist. Tell them to make some better music. Sorry, I want to listen to some good stuff. I don't want to sit here and listen to music and be mad the whole time. I want to enjoy myself. I actually like that track, but the bars, you can't overlook it. Track number four, No Sleep Leak. I like this background sound that's going on, okay? Like Corbin, Corbin, oysters, and it feels like there's different rappers on here. Is he changing his voice or is that like... Whose man's is this? Track number five, the, the way life goes, tell me. I like the fact that he's switching it up. I like this. It's a little weird hearing somebody like him try to make a track like this that's so like romantically involved. I prefer him kind of give the, the perspective of someone that doesn't really care about the woman that he's with rather than try and uh you know understand or or try to ease the pain in the situation 
I enjoy the fact that he did switch up his vocal pattern and, and you know make it a little bit more desirable for for the context of the track but honestly he just doesn't do anything for me on this track to be honest track number six for real for real yeah 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 on them that's to repeat it get the green like it's cow pockets they fat you like peanuts so that i love her ain't mean that's because i hit the mean heard you with gary barbera wait for real why do you stop why why do you ask yourself questions in the middle of the stop okay continue this flow it's monument abuse the bass for real Alright, I kinda like it, never mind, I kinda like it. Money jumping out my pocket, tucking bands in my belt. Alright, uh these tracks just they, I feel like they need to be shorter, man. Like they could have way more impact if they were shorter, because then being in three, four minutes, you don't have enough lyrical content to cover a song that length. That's why I feel like some of it's just being dragged out. But hey, I'm not expecting anything that monumental, it's just I don't know if he knows how lyrically subpar he can be at times. Track number seven, Feelings Mutual. I like this. Oh my god. Taking up an entire track and 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 just not being boring in the slightest it felt like that was an experience and not just a song track number eight neon guts featuring pharrell to be honest not even pharrell could save that track from the repetitive nature that it maintains because of the constant uh setups that they kind of give each other it's fine but i don't know it just goes downhill after a certain point you know the the hype factor in the beginning you get lit because the the track itself is is so uh, so bass heavy and, but it quickly just goes down from there because it that's the theme it maintains throughout the entire track and it gets boring to listen to because there's no change. Track number nine, early 20 Rager. Boy, you say God. Boy, you say God. It's almost like it's a live track, like uh, he performed it in, in front of a stadium or something like that. That's the, the sound that it maintains because I feel like he's really far away uh, the way he sounds on this track and maybe like early 20 rager is like the people who come to see him at his live show this is how crazy it gets maybe that's what he's trying to say but again it's nothing that i need to come back to track number 10 unfazed featuring my boy abel weekend's verse on there i like what he's talking about he's always giving me some experiences that you know a lot of people don't end up like a lot of people don't know about what he goes through or what he does just in general but he always portrays his life experiences or his most recent in a very cool and a uh, very subtle way at the same time he says it like it's just no big deal but i did enjoy his feature on here uzi didn't really need him. Track number 11, Pretty Mommy. I just noticed See that? Ah. Track number 12, How to Talk. No, I'm gonna buy ya. No way I can fall ya. I won't say it twice. Okay, my say it twice. Smooth, so it's all in there. Hurts you talk to a ball player. It's cool. Cause I like Dark Vader. Oh, oh. Track. It's a cool message. You know, it, it's it, it's it's simple. You know, it's simple. It's to the point. I don't think you need to take that much from it. It's just there, and you look at it. And it is what it is, and you just move on. That's what that track was for me. Track number 13, X. 
Track number 14, man. I, I, I don't. What, 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 what is this? Seems to be over. No, it seems to be over. Get it on my own, no, you get tagged out of your side. Get it on the bread, but I do not need a toaster. Down the water, I'm a bolster. No, no. You know that I can't lose ya. I'm over my savages, you know my boy gon' shit. Surprisingly, love his flow on that track. Not a problem with it. Again, lyrical content. We're not even going to go into that because he's got no bars. Actually, uh, a good portion of this mixtape is is about a broken love. So, uh, yeah, we, we get the gist of it. Track number 15, Dark Queen. Okay? This might be my one. Okay? Okay? This is my one. You let nobody convince you that wasn't a great song. I, I love the track, and I also like the message tied into it, being the Dark Queen, which is essentially the Trap Queen. It makes a ton of references in this track. In my opinion, this is probably the best track on the tape, uh, aside from EXO Tour Life. I don't really care if you cry. Uh, the project as a whole, I'm not surprised at anything that Uzi did on this tape. Uh, I can't say I'm happy or disappointed by it in the slightest. I have come to just expect nothing from Lil Uzi Vert, so I'm never usually disappointed. I'm just always shocked when I get cringe bars, or I'm always shocked when I get a good song. Either way, it's gonna be a shocking experience if you ever see me listening to a Uzi project on camera or anything from Uzi in general. So to give you like my full breakdown or thoughts on this, it's not really that conceptual, it's not that uh, idealistic, it's just straight to the point. Uh, Uzi music. Uh, there's really no other way to describe it. His music is for a generation of people that really don't value any kind of lyricism or need any kind of concept to find a project entertaining. And, you know, I'm okay with that. Uh, if you want to consume this project just as is and not try to include or with a concept or anything, that's fine. Me personally, when I listen to it, I get nothing as far as thoughts are concerned. The on this tape is definitely rapping from the perspective of a guy who has made a name and who, you know, has a lot of money and is spending it on a lot of things and is in drama with his love life. So for me, it's not surprising considering, you know, it's kind of like an extension of a wannabe EXO Tour Life on some tracks. A lot of these tracks don't have near the viral impact that EXO Tour Life had, and they probably never will with the exception of Dark Queen. There are other tracks on here that are a little bit more enjoyable, like uh, the track with The Weeknd or uh, Feelings Mutual, but most of this tape just leaves me wondering what Uzi is bringing to the table. Like, it has me wondering why the anticipation for a project like this was so high. For people to have hyped this thing up, it really didn't exceed anybody's expectations in my opinion. Even worse than that, a lot of these tracks are way too long. It's as if, as I've said before, Uli doesn't know how lyrically subpar he is and to realize and understand that it's okay, you don't have to be the greatest rapper. You just need to have a presence. I don't want you to actually try to rap at any point on this project. If you're gonna do anything metaphorically, keep it on tracks like Dark Queen, but don't put it on tracks that really have no idea or concept behind it and just start rapping and expect people like me, anyone out there who values any kind of lyrics to be satisfied with it and then be mad at them if they don't like the project and you get the excuse of saying, oh, I'm not a rapper, I'm a rock star. Lil Uzi on this project definitely explores different flows and switches up his cadence at some points, but that's something that I've come to expect from Uzi. I don't really know if I can give him points for doing something he's been doing his whole career. It just seems like an extension of Love is Rage, a less qualified, less entertaining version of an EXO tour life if you want to. Uh, for me, I can see how someone could like a good amount of these tracks based on the fact that uh, Uzi is very formulaic in the sense that he delivers tracks in a very similar way. But to be honest, anybody new, anybody who was a little Uzi skeptic, you're probably not gonna be drawn in by this project. Don't really need to go too deep into it. It is what it is, literally. So my camera's juice just got drained, so obviously it's telling me to end this review. Uh, Lil Uzi, Love is Rage 2.
Hope you guys enjoyed the project. If you did, go ahead and leave a like rating down below. Did you like it severely? Did you dislike it severely? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm done for the night.